Hey guys, uh, welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel of CSNH Photo. I just wanted to answer another question I get asked a lot today. Anybody who follows my stuff will see I shoot a lot of uh, fitness, physique, sports sort of stuff. And what an awful lot of people I shoot, one of the first questions they ask me is, you know, how do I get a sponsor? Do I need a sponsorship? And this is really a double-edged sword. A lot of people, especially people who compete, it's a really sought after thing. And it can be a great thing for building your profile, getting yourself out there, and obviously benefiting from being attached to sort of a big company, things going like that. On the other side is how much you really need it to achieve whatever you want to achieve. What, you know, you really got to have strong goals of where you want to be. You know, are you a competing model? Do you, you do these shows? It will it benefit, will it help you out massively financially having a sponsor? Or are you a model who wants to get out there in the magazines, in the public domain? If you have a sponsor, will they put you in their adverts? Will your reach increase? Are you a personal trainer? Will you then sell on products or whatever your sponsorship is, be it clothing, be it supplements? Will you be able to sell them onto your clients? Will you be able to make money that way? It's really looking at the long-term goal of what you want to achieve and will sponsorship benefit you? And there's lots of ways, you know, as we just mentioned, that it can be benefit and non-financial. But a lot of people, they, they build that up there as one of their goals with no major benefit to them or the sponsor. If you're just desperate for a sponsor and you're going to attach yourself to any company, I personally don't see a massive worth in that. If you've got a company that you really like, you're desperate to be attached with, or you really want to get yourself out there in certain ways, or you really want to help a company build up, there's lots of great long-term relationships that can be built there. You know, I pride myself on my, you know, as an individual you know, photographer, I don't want to be sponsored by any company, I don't want to be too involved, but I pride myself on the amount of repeat business I have with certain companies, and I view that as a long-term relationship, you know, in a way similar to sponsorship that, you know, athletes have, but it just means that, you know, I'm consistently delivering for them companies, which is what I think a lot of sponsored athletes should do. A lot of uh, sponsored, uh, or a lot of athletes view it as their own, you know, they deserve it because of their, you know, there's no, there's no shortage of good looking guys with a six pack, there's no shortage of girls in shape. You've got to decide what makes you special, what makes you different. If I'm a company, what am I going to do to buy into you? What are you going to do for me? Are you going to put it out there? You know, nobody, you know, nobody cares how good your six pack is, nobody cares them things. Every, you know, everybody at a certain level has got that. Look at any, uh, you know, any modeling casting you go to, it's full of guys with a six pack. Any bodybuilding show is full of people in great shape. Any bikini show, you see all these girls with these fantastic figures. What can you do differently for a company? When you promote and present yourself to companies, not just for things like sponsorship, for any sort of opportunities to represent them or work with them, you know, have a view of a double-edged, double-edged sword there. You know, this is what I can do for you. This is what I'd like you to do for me. A lot of companies will respond a lot better to that than somebody going to them and going, you know, I won, you know, Mr. Blah 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 or this. You know, I think you guys should sponsor me, or I think you know, I want. <coughs> this amount a month and stuff like that. So really, guys, the best advice I give people about sponsorship is look at what you want, where you want to be, and then approach companies that you would want to work with and you want to be working with in two or three years' time, not just now, because you've got to view yourself as a brand and the integrity of your brand it, you know, is built on how long-term your relationship is. If I'm here one minute going, you know, I use this, I wear this, it's fantastic, six months later I'm saying, no, that's rubbish, I use this. What does that do to, you know, the people out there think of me as a brand? You really gotta look at a long-term plan of where you wanna be and what you wanna do. And approaching people, you know, that's what you gotta do. So is it necessary? Probably not, but it depends where you wanna be. But, you know, is it helpful? Of course it's helpful. If you're a personal trainer or a model and you can get on an advert for a company that goes out to their newsletter of 100,000 people, or goes in a magazine that has a circulation of 60,000, something like that, already you're reaching these massive amounts of people. The same with if you're working with a company, if you can tweet them to your following, they can tweet you to their following. It's a great tool to, for everybody to help everybody, but just have clearly defined views and goals on what you want from it and also what you're, what you're able to give to the company. That's one of the most important things. Anyway, I hope that's helped and answered any of these questions. Thanks again, guys, and see you next time.